That was a good trip. I have a lot to tell you. I got some more spring water. I got some blackberries. I got some crab apples. Can you imagine going to town, running errands, and you're like, oh, I'm thirsty or I need a snack. And you could just stop on the side of the road and <laughs> maybe I'm getting a little too excited about it, but I think it's cool. Something tells me that's not the only place in the country you can do this. So while you unload groceries, I'm going to share the good news. Awesome. Do it. All right, folks, it's an exciting day for us, and we just had to share this with you because you guys are the reason that it all happened. We've hit a million lifetime views on YouTube. That's as of yesterday. This video's airing a couple of weeks in advance, obviously, but we're so excited to share that news with you. The fact that two people that, you know, nobody in the world knows that decided to do YouTube to keep our families updated on what's going on, and it just kind of grew from there for us to have hit a million views. Hey guys, it is Saturday, and as part of transitioning into the full-time RV life, we gotta get rid of some stuff. So Previously set it to pass the torch of the uh, the black F-150 over to Isaac, who is Carlos. This is our son, Isaac. You can't, I can't see his face in the screen unless you can. Oh. Okay, so this is our son, Isaac. He's gonna say hi. Not going on the road with us, but he does need a truck, so we're gonna do a little paperwork and exchange a title and a bill of sale, and then we're gonna go grab some Mexican food. Hashtag real life. Yeah, real life stuff. So we are still working, going into an office. We're working about 48 hours at least. That's our minimum. If we're lucky. <laughs> if it's a, a day that we can wrap up and get out. Today's episode is sponsored today. How's that said? What's the... Today's episode is sponsored by... Today's episode is sponsored by the color black in honor of all of Cody's black shirts. That's massive. We're so excited. We had to celebrate that with you guys because you guys are the reason that it happened. And in the month of July, we hit 100,000 views in one month alone, which is our best month ever. Again, thanks to you guys. Thank you so much for taking time out of your days or your week to spend with us. And keep on joining in because it only gets better from here. And we'll keep coming back if you keep coming back. And let's be honest. Those numbers don't mean anything. Oh, in the great big world of YouTube? <laughs> nah, we're this big, but to us, it's massive. They were goals that we set and we hit them thanks to you guys. I think you already said that, but we do love you. And so this video is gonna be a little bit different. We wanted to gear it for you, if possible. Well, they're all kind of for them, right? Mm -hmm. The video, the, the travel's for us, the videos are for them. I don't know. <laughs> But we do hope you guys like this one. You're finally off work. Now we can go explore. Uh, your bike keys are on the table. Okay. So part of the cool thing about this Canaan Valley Resort is there's a ton of stuff to do here in the area. You've got some historical stuff. You've got a golf resort if you're into that. There's all kinds of downtown stuff to do, cool little shops. They've got ski slopes for the winter. They've got water recreation. Just about anything you can think of. And hey, if you missed the last episode, I've already said this once, but how about this campground? This place is pretty awesome. And part of my trip today was to get Cody's bike chain, a little link for it, because the one he got online was not working. That was a whole ordeal all in itself. And I'm doing it now because I've already seen all the bike trails around here and we're gonna get some riding in, so this isn't gonna get put off until the end of the week. Well, that didn't work. It looks like it should all work together just fine, but it just, well, you at least look like you know what you're doing. It's been a long time since I've done this. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I don't think they gave me a link long enough to get through this chain. This could be a problem. Stand by. No. Now, now this seems far-fetched. This could be a problem. I don't think this is going to work for me at all. But thanks to Blackwater Bikes in Davis, West Virginia, they were so sweet, super sweet people. He tinkered around, he found something in some box somewhere 
that fit. So we're going to test it out and use it for our exploring tonight. That little gold chain link right there was all we were looking for. Have you lead the way. Where's Ange? Well, as you might figure, she forgot something in the house. We get ready to go do something and it's a whole ordeal on we're in the truck or we're on the bikes, or we're in the boat or whatever. And what did we forget this time? Then there's usually sometimes a second round of what we forget. So let her know in the comments, get her stuff together. So big shout out to Blackwater Bikes for getting us set up on our little quick link. The chain kept popping off, you guys remember. So I wanted to take a link out of the chain, which is easy enough to do. I just got a little cheap toolkit on Amazon that came with a lot of those little quick links that help you put the chain back together, but they were all too short. You go to the Electric Bikes website, you can buy any spare part you want on there. Nothing listed about a chain or chain sizing. So I ended up just sending Ange with the chain. She got the quick link we needed that fit perfectly. So hopefully we're good to go for a little while. It's good to be back on the bike. Oh, Mama, it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Well, she's not scared. She's not scared of us at all. One of the really nice things about this area is it is super bike friendly. There's bike trails everywhere, even down here by the campground. There's all kinds of big shoulder areas, lots of nice places to ride, low speed limits. The cars seem to know what's going on around here and kind of, you know, helps out of your way a little bit. But really, really nice trails. I mean, this isn't a trail we're on, we're on a road, but very weird. nice riding area. And there's deer everywhere. Little baby deers. I'm gonna scare them. It's Mr. Buck. Don't spook the funny. These deer are <laughs> domesticated. There he goes. If, if that didn't scare them. Oh, what a little guy. Yeah, I guess they're just used to a lot of people. Got the chain fixed. Maybe I need to work on my brakes now. Hi, baby. It's okay. We came down to see the Almost Heaven Swing. There are so many of these spread throughout the state of West Virginia. Looks like a lot of people set themselves up and challenge themselves to, to visit as many as possible and actually swing with these beautiful backgrounds. It still is very pretty, but the, the swing is gone. gone. Where's the swing? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's good. I'll break a <laughs> finger doing that. It can be done. It's not worth doing. I think I completely underestimated West Virginia. Sure. There's a lot of people here probably trying to take a picture or go on a trail. So we're gonna mount. Get out of everybody's way. <laughs> and head back to the camper. All right, two workouts. Two small. You can't call it two workouts, workouts because these these morning workouts out in front of the camper, they're just not the same. I think we just get spoiled to our routines. That's the key. Okay, it's dinner time. I've got some meat defroster. I'm going to go get dinner started. Are we doing crazy dinner or are we doing normal dinner? <laughs> this is going to be a very normal dinner, but you guys know we like our food. So while she goes and cooks dinner, we're going to go through some of our favorite or craziest foods that we've ate since we've been on the road full time. It's going to not charge me for cauliflower. I should get a discount for having cauliflower in my food. Um, this is what they call a hot beef, hot beef sandwich. That's usually what they call me. A flesh kikwa, a kuchen, which is a... She probably didn't say that right. She's making up words. <laughs> this looks like something I cut out of my front yard back in the day. It's a log. So we had to get the half price sushi, even though we just had euros. And I asked her, if she's, gonna eat, I asked her if she's gonna eat that tonight. And she's like, no, I'm, no, I'm not hungry. And then... Candy ginger doesn't count. I made a... Mediterranean baked cod. If you have two hours to kill <laughs> and a tank of propane, this is a great dish. It's a win minus the rice. Like I think you mix all these things together without the rice and it's good. And it, and Which is just a bowl of fruit. Welcome to our dinner of love. I've never made it before. So 
you know, Christmas is a good time to, to try new things <laughs> at the last minute. <laughs> this is a disaster! <gasps> oh! Ah! Three eggs is what I have, three eggs is what I'm using. It tastes very flowery. They're almost gone. They're not cheap. Hmm. Mm hmm. But before you go, what else did you do while you were out and about today? Oh, <laughs> I had a very interesting trip today. Sometimes on these travels, it's hard to know what to expect. Sometimes things are a little deflated more than what you thought. Sometimes they really surprise you. And this one surprised me. I came to see the smallest church. And what they've done on the property is so beautiful. I've got to show you. I've already peeked at it a little bit. Wanted to make sure I could film in here. Is this not the cutest little church that you've ever seen? Look at these little pews. They have postcards that you can purchase just for 50 cents or big pictures that are really beautiful for the donation box. So I signed the guest book, which you should do anytime you can. A lot of times that helps these places for funding if they need it. They can show that it gets visited frequently however that works. But what I didn't know was here was this little bitty, teeny tiny U.S. Postal Service. And it sure looks like a real one. So I already had my dad's birthday card in hand because I was going to mail it today. So you guys have been introduced to my dad a little bit out in South Dakota. He's turning 80. All the well wishes you guys wished him on that last video. He did see them all. He appreciated them. He always reads the comments and enjoys them. So thank you for doing that. He was afraid to respond because he didn't want anyone left out. I'm going to use this and I'm going to mail his card and hope that this is, in fact, a real post office. So, Dad, I'm sorry we're not there. I do have a card. This is proof that it's happening. If it doesn't get to you, it's still here in this post office. <laughs> and I popped one of their postcards in there because it was pretty. So hopefully he enjoys that. So thank you for the birthday wishes for my dad. He may need them because his birthday card's in here. <laughs> but he also has four other siblings that's probably gonna send him something. So, you know, the odds are there that I'll be covered. 10 minutes out of your trip if you're in the area. This is worth worth it. And the drive to get here from Davis, pretty nice. Felt like I was a, a NASCAR driver driving on some of those roads. <laughs> here we go. This one right here is yours. You go ahead and eat. I want to get the dogs out. They're kind of being extra tonight. What else is new? <laughs> They're always extra. They are.
good chicken you cooked up, Ange. Thanks for dinner, Eris. Just kidding. Did you come up here for your massage? With a million views comes thousands of comments and we appreciate every single one of them. Everybody's welcome here and you guys are always sending the love through the comments and keeping us encouraged when we have bad things go on and commenting when good things go on. It's always great to hear from you guys in the comments, but every now and again, we kind of get a bad one and we just shrug most of those off because we're not gonna get into internet fights. But every now and then we get bad comments that actually make us laugh. So we wanted to share just a few of those with you guys. Look who's eating on camera now. Are you gonna tell me you're gonna turn it on? <laughs> Ignore her. That's what he does. I'm not ignoring these twice baked potatoes though, because these are absolutely incredible. Yay. I can make a whole meal off of these. Someone at a campground actually taught me this. I just nuke the potatoes, scrape them out, mix them in with some plain yogurt and cheese and green onions, and I've kind of fallen in love with them. Oh, and then you put the mush inside the potato shell and bake them just long enough to get crispy a little bit. Why don't you do this again tomorrow <laughs> so you can film it and share your knowledge? For them? Yeah. Okay. And for me. Well, if you want to see if I do that, make sure to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> also, this next video coming up, I'm about to have a panic attack. She booked this without talking to me about it. I said, what are you thinking? Oh, it'll be fine. And the closer we get to it, the more she freaks out about it. So, yeah. who knows what we're going to get out of this. But before we let you go, one thing that you guys always tell us that you enjoy are the bloopers. And so here are some of our favorites, some you've seen and some you haven't. We'll catch you next time. See you on the road, guys. Two or three years. Four. Start over. So it's... You just gonna eat your ginger? Or you wanna say something or? Show me a tiger. <laughs> One of the most commonly asked questions. We actually use a lot of different inter uh, internets. When you when you work full time on the remote and you, ugh. Okay, we can't talk about it anymore. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> I can't. No, I'm serious. <laughs> Called him on Friday. Today's Tuesday. Called him on Friday, and today's Monday. Uh, I called him on Thursday. Today's Monday. Call Today's Thursday. We get about the full time RV life. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to World News Tonight. Our top story of the day is we keep having to fix stuff on our RV. But we're not going to talk about that today. <laughs> Let uh, it go. Uh -huh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit it this time. It's <laughs> Be sure to share our content with your friends and family and anybody else you might think might find this maybe useful. <laughs> I hate this. Everything's under control. My T-Rex costume. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Although I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Where is it? Right now, in June of 2014, in June of 2024, I did use the kiosk and tried to buy it. This is in 2024. Right now, in June of 2023, just pinned it back, and this was the reason I couldn't get it to do this if I had tried. What is this? Huh? <laughs> One guy referred to my hair issues 
to this guy. Hey babe, you gotta hit the button and wait just a split second and then say something. Cause I, I see you talking, but you let go before I can hear you. Not straight, if that's what you're going for. Are we supposed to have food on here? Get out of my fries, I, I swear. Right. Left, 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 left. You're right. <laughs> Here. Well, let me do a Yui. Ah! Woo! Cody! He's toddlers, bird. Get out of my way. That's a grown woman up there. She's enjoying this way too much. No, but that was literally the only person on there, and I'm these poor little kids had to wait on me. <laughs> Bad about that. Hey guys, thanks for checking out our video today on our. I don't like that. Why are you so like Darth Vader voice? <laughs> hey guys, you know oh why? Good thing he got three pair of pants for Christmas. Oh. Aww. Everyone act normal. The cops are here. <laughs> I'm on fire! <laughs> so was it worth it? Yeah, it was worth it. It was worth every I'm bit of 30 fire! <laughs> Somebody use your witchcraft powers to get the fire off my friend. <laughs> I'm on fire! You're not on fire, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> I'm burned! I'm there on is fire! No fire. Well, that's Kevin. Good Texan hospita hospitality. And East Texas feels like a <laughs> If these jerks would quit backing up and pulling forward, it'd be good. Who are these people? Ooh. Can we go see what we can find? Yeah, I think the more important question is why did we decide to shoot a video directly behind and downwind a portable toilet? <laughs> so yeah, I'm ready to go hike anywhere away from where we stand right now. <laughs> I need to re- I need to re I never have anything I need! I'm so over this. I'm sure. You're going the wrong way again. How? I'm supposed to do that while I'm working on stuff. <laughs> I have things to do. This is not OSHA approved. <laughs> All jokes aside, you're not really going to drink that, are you? No, I was just going to set it outside to air it out. My goodness. <laughs> it becomes a quest. He needs a friend. Let's see how Apple Let's see how Apple Gaucher. Gaucher. Do we have the correct pronunciation of your name? Why are you asking me? I'm asking you. I'm gonna turn the camera on. Now you just move around a little bit. bringing them with you. I won't do that. Why? Why can't I do that? What's wrong? What's wrong with your face? 